Hey, this is Nick Williams, Medicare Millionaire, and we are going to review today the rules for the new Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. Now, this is the, uh, the period that, as you can see on the video here, if you're looking at the video, it, uh, the enrollment period goes from January 1st to March 31st. So this is a new enrollment period this year. However, this, is a, this used to be an option every year, I guess up to maybe four or five years ago. So they stopped it. it may have been five or six. Time flies. So I, but the, again, it gives the, the Medicare beneficiary the opportunity to make one change. And I don't know the exact reasoning behind this, but I imagine CMS, Medicare, they want to help the Medicare beneficiaries. And if they made a mistake or missed an opportunity, they want to give them sort of a do-over, one more opportunity to make that one change, only one change. So first of all, this is, program is not to be advertised. So you don't want to advertise the Medicare Advantage open enrollment period. Simple as that. Uh, this is, I guess, for p people that seek you out saying, oops, I made a mistake, or can you help me? I missed something. Or if you happen to be speaking with them and they notify you that, hey, uh, perhaps, you know, I could have could have or should have done something differently. You could help them in that case. Let's go over the allowable activities. First of all, if you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, you can switch to another Medicare Advantage plan during this period, again, from January 1st to March 31st. If you're in a Medicare Advantage plan, you can make a change, and that would be with or without a drug card attached to that plan. So whether it's an MA or MAPD, you can make that change. You can disenroll from a Medicare Advantage plan and return to original Medicare and purchase a drug card. So again, if you have Medicare Advantage, you can go back to me original Medicare, A and B, and get a drug card. So that would be, I, I would assume that the that would mean that the person is going to get a Medicare supplement. So it is an opportunity to make that change. If you enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan during the initial enrollment period, during your initial enrollment period, you can change to another Me Medicare Advantage plan. Now, this is a little different, and you can see I highlighted this last portion of the of this uh, uh, allowable activity, and it says within the first three months you have Medicare. So if you are IEP or ICEP, you can make a change, but only if it's when the, within the first three months that you have Medicare. So not sure exactly what that r rule pertains to, uh, why they have it that way, but that is a, uh, again, as it reads, and this is exactly, this is, if you're, if you're looking at the uh, video as I'm talking, this is out of Medicare, this is off of the Medicare.gov website. So this is how it reads. Again, if you enrolled in a Medicare Advantage plan during your initial enrollment period, you can change to another Medicare, Medicare Advantage plan or go back to original Medicare within the first three months you have Medicare. So uh, they've. the important thing is that if you are working with somebody and they they have just they've signed up for their initial enrollment period, you can make that change within the first three months. So unacceptable activities. You cannot switch from original Medicare to a Medicare Advantage plan. You cannot join a prescription drug plan if you're in a on if you're in original Medicare. You cannot switch from one Medicare prescription drug plan to another if you're in original Medicare. And you can see that I've highlighted original Medicare in each instance. What this means is that if you have original Medicare, if, you're, if your client has original Medicare, they're basically not making any changes. So this is if somebody has a Medicare Advantage plan that they can change to a change to, okay, if they have a Medicare Advantage plan, they can make a change to a Medicare Advantage plan or to original Medicare. But if they have original Medicare, they cannot do the opposite. 
They cannot make changes if they have original Medicare. This is for people that have Medicare Advantage only. So that's it. It's pretty simple program or enrollment period that allows people to make changes if they have a Medicare Advantage. And if you need help, we have some programs that we're implementing. We're going to bring back our agency builder program, the 90-day agency builder program, and we have the telemarketing program. So if you need help, give us a call. My contact information is right there on the screen. Uh, email me, call me, uh, and I'm here to help you. And we look forward to talking to you soon. Goodbye.